Let me just start off by saying that I'm not a big gas station food person, but Quick Trip right now is slapping. Has anybody tried those like little, you know, chicken buffalo sticks or their egg rolls or those little sandwiches they make in the kitchen? I don't suggest you like take your date there because then, you know, you're going to be a single ass broke dude because, you know, you shouldn't be taking your date to eat gas station food. But it's pretty good. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to say it's like a five star restaurant or anything crazy like that. And by the way, no, Quick Trip doesn't sponsor this channel. OK, it's just something random that I ran across. But anyways, enough of that nonsense. We're not here to talk about gas station food. We're actually here to talk about action figures. As always, if you guys enjoy this type of content, make sure to stay tuned because we are uploading pretty consistently. We do like to ramble on about action figures. That's kind of like our main thing here on the channel. So if you guys enjoy this type of stuff, stay tuned, you know, stick around. I think we're up to like maybe four uploads on some weeks and then other weeks we're probably down to like two to three, but you know, life happens. In today's video, I wanted to talk about just in my personal opinion, how I think maybe Jaded Toys is the best OM out there. This one is kind of subjective. People have different opinions. People will, you know, look at things differently. And I know I made a video not too long ago where I compared Jaded Toys to the Marvel Legends line and I've compared it to a number of other lines. But ultimately, I do feel like potentially Jaded Toys might be able to take over, uh, you know, different franchises and, and just different lines in general. I know I just talked about Diamond Select not too long ago and I kind of bashed them and people didn't like it but at the end of the day and i know a lot of people were making a lot of excuses for diamond select saying well the main reason is because marvel select is very limited or you know hasbro was limiting what they could do or you know marvel had these uh, these contracts that uh marvel or diamond select had to sign and there were limitations to what they could do but at the end of the day those limitations only applied to the marvel select line there were a bunch of other lines that they've worked on that had the exact same issues like sim single jointed elbows single jointed knees no butterfly joints essentially no ab crunch so you know i think a lot of people were making a lot of excuses for diamond select granted maybe those there are there is a contractual obligation to only release a certain amount of marvel action figures and to have limited articulation but i think the issues are bigger than just the marvel select line i think diamond select in general has really not altered their perception of what an action figure is they, they haven't really made any huge adjustments they haven't made any big improvements like in the last 10 years i can't tell you how many figures i've picked up from diamond select and just been incredibly disappointed i know people didn't like it but it is what it is in today's video we're not here to talk about diamond select we're not here to talk about marvel select we're here to talk about jaded toys and i will say i have very limited experience i haven't picked up every single action figure that jaded toys has released but i think jaded toys as a whole has made us question a lot of things like there was a very long stretch of time where we thought pinless technology or like pinless joints was a thing of the future like hey that's you know that's jetson's talk with th that doesn't exist it will never exist we'll never have uh pinless technology and yet right off the gates right off the bat jaded toys started releasing their action figures and i'm not gonna say every single one because i have i don't own all jaded toy uh 112 action figures so far but at least every single one that i've picked up up to this point has been pinless They've had that seamless technology already integrated into them. We've also been wired to think that because something is licensed out to them, because it's not their original property, they have to pay like all this extra money. And so you're probably not going to get all of the little extras. You're not going to get uh, enough accessories. You're not going to get enough plastic inside your packaging and that hasn't been the case either with uh, the Jaded Toys line so far. Usually, uh, and I can use like like five or six different OMs that have used this excuse for why they're hiking up prices. But for example, you have like McFarlane, an entire wave, maybe one or two figures have a decent amount of accessories. Then you'll get like three to four that have no accessories. Same thing with the Marvel Legends line. Anytime you get like an obscure character, they won't come with any accessories. Like I'm talking zero extra head sculpts, zero extra hands, a weapon, nothing. They don't come with anything else. And that hasn't been the case with Jaded Toys. 
Uh, usually, like if you're talking about the Street Fighter line, they're usually coming with like an extra head sculpt, maybe like a couple of extra hands minimum. And then you have like one of their special effect pieces with an actual stand where it really helps with how you can display your action figure. And that's way more plastic than anything that McFarlane is doing right now. It's way more than anything that the Marvel Legends line is doing. I will say there are some outliers, and I, I've mentioned this in previous videos. There are some absolute bangers from McFarlane. Same thing with the Marvel Legends line. But the fact that Jaded Toys is doing this consistently, like I think every single Mega Man action figure has had like an extra head sculpt or that, that effect piece with the stand. Same thing with the Jaded Toys. That's something that's very unique to them. Only they are giving you value consistently. We've even had uh, some manufacturers, like for example, Hasbro, with some of their G.I. Joe action figures where a bunch of stuff is being reused, even though they don't owe like a royalty or they don't owe a licensing fee to anybody and yet they're still falling short on a lot of their releases same thing with like the the transformers line which i believe is also theirs so jaded toys i think is setting a new standard not to mention the packaging i mean can can we talk about that just for a split second here the arcade packaging while it doesn't really add anything especially if you're just going to crack that action figure open there is some value there i do believe that it does like hype up your level of enjoyment for an action figure it's something you can admire and in some cases some people like myself we open up the figure we keep the package maybe display it behind the action figure somewhere or in some cases there are a lot of people out there that are inbox collectors and this is adding even more enjoyment to them because you know it's, it's in a neat little package and overall it just displays much better if it's you know in something like that and I think the peak of like for example Hasbro doing something like this was their VHS line and you can't even enjoy the action figure it's a cool concept i mean i really like the idea of something being in a vhs box especially considering myself coming from that era not really i mean when i was growing up vhs was ab obsolete but i do remember seeing cassette tapes and things of that nature but it gives it an element of nostalgia and you can also same thing with the jaded toys packaging you can actually take the figure and still keep the box you know mint and maybe display it on your shelf somewhere behind the figures make it look like you have a, a vhs tape collection so but but even then it didn't really add too much because you couldn't see inside to the figure they should have had a little maybe a tiny little plastic window where you could at least see the action figure and if you're an inbox collector, that essentially just destroys what it is that you're going for. Uh, it really didn't bother people that opened their action figures because I don't think that really affected them too much. But I've already gone into that. I'm not really going to dissect it too much. I've already said that Hasbro, I think it's it's a little uh it's a little shady that they use this tactic of like oh we're giving you guys something cool like this but in reality they're probably just using it as a tax break but i've already talked about that in reality jaded toys i think is just doing a much better job not to mention the articulation is there i mean the ab crunch for these uh, figures, I think like if you take the gi off of like Ken and Ryu, those figures articulate incredibly well, like shirtless, nips out and everything. They can get into some incredibly dynamic poses and that's consistent again throughout the line. It's not like with the Marvel Legends line and we just talked about this incessantly, but we get like a new Spider-Man body mold and then they revert back to like a Spider-Man body mold from like five to six years ago on a newer release right like you have like three to four different marvel legends uh, spider-man body molds and all of them are being released almost simultaneously but only one of them is the new body mold the rest of them are using some really old outdated tech that makes absolutely no sense to me jada toy set the standard with their first street fighter wave and they're only going to build off of that and in some cases that first line like the ryu uh, the ryu action figure the fei long those are better than some of the best Marvel Legends out there. And that's just the beginning. That's how they're going to start off. I will say there were some little issues that I ran into with some of these figures. I think like the uh, plastic color tone on the skin was a little bit off. Like the, the, the paint or the plastic that they use for the headpiece was a little bit different than like the chest piece or vice versa some of the arms were you know slightly different uh shade of that like matte skin color and i think i criticized like fei Lung's ankles i didn't necessarily love them uh he couldn't lay them flat in certain uh poses and i didn't necessarily love the pants on him 
But those are minor little issues, minor little nitpicks. As a whole, I think they're just way more consistent. I love their packaging. Their articulation is already phenomenal. And like I said, this is just their first wave. They're going to continue to build. They're going to continue to get better. And we, have, we haven't even received their deluxe figures. There's a possibility, or I shouldn't say a possibility because we've already seen images for like Blanca and Sagat and so on and so forth. Like we are going to get those figures in the foreseeable future. And the line is only going to get better and i think and I'm, this is what i'm hoping okay because i do believe that at the moment they're better than mcfarlane overall they're better than uh, the marvel legends line they're better than neca they're better than almost anybody that i can think of at that price point and even better than some uh, action figures that are being sold for a little bit more like the 50 to 60 dollar imports i still think that they're better than those but that's neither here nor there i just think that they're overall they're better than any figure that you can get at that, like even 30 to $35 price point and under, I think they're the best. But what I'm hoping is that not only Jada Toys continues to push Hasbro and McFarlane a little bit, maybe they start to feel it a little bit in their wallet. Maybe the, the Jada Toy sales are going a little bit higher than, you know, uh, the, the Marvel Legends and the uh, DC Multiverse line. But I hope that they continue to get more licenses because at the moment, I think the the main stuff that I've seen from them, I, th I think they saw like some uh, some offshoot like serial mascot stuff. I think they have some like the Universal Monster stuff, uh, you know, obviously Street Fighter, Mega Man, but I'm hoping that they get more licenses, more franchises under their belt. Uh, it's exciting to think that they're, that they're taking on video games because I do feel like that's their main forte. I feel like that's where they should kind of focus in a little bit on. We already have the Jazzwares uh, Halo action figures and a lot of other big names. We have, I think, like Call of Duty has had some releases, Witcher with uh, McFarland. But I'm sure that there are other really good um, franchises like Resident Evil, for example, just off the top of my head that they can uh, jump in on and give us some action figures. And, uh, you you know in the foreseeable future maybe they pick on some bigger lines not just video games it's a shame that we're getting uh, like i said i already and people are going to hate me for this but the fact that like diamond select still has marvel or a lot of these other like third party like overseas sellers uh still have some of these franchises and jada still can't get their foot in the door hopefully this is kind of like an audition to get some of these lines because i do feel like they deserve it and in my personal humble opinion, I think they're the best OM to pick up. It's a shame that I go to like Target and, you know, at the beginning it was a little bit harder and more difficult to find. But I see like three to four reused just kind of thrown everywhere or like three to four Kens or like, you know, five Phalongs. Nobody's picking them up. And I think it's a matter of just not getting enough exposure. There aren't enough reviewers out there, you know, talking them up. And I think it's a shame that they're at this point, quote unquote, underrated, even though I just feel like they don't have exposure. I don't feel people enough people are talking about them as being the best action figure manufacturer out there. And I will say sometimes, like, let's say if it's a release from Jada Toys, Marvel Legends and McFarlane and, you know, NECA, sometimes those other OMs will beat them out. OK, let me clarify that. It's not always that Jada Toys is only making great figures. But I think they're more consistent, whereas and I can take like five Jada toy figures within this time frame and compare them to the other five from, you know, Marvel Legends and McFarlane and any other OM. And I think Jada toys will beat them. It's just that simple. I think they're doing a phenomenal job. They're paying attention to the small little details that the other OMs are not like packaging extra accessories you know things of that nature uh great head sculpts and they're paying attention to the fan base as well they're giving us street fighter action figures which at, at the time i believe we were only getting street fighters from what like uh storm collectibles and those figures are what like 80 dollars a pop they usually come with an insane amount of accessories decent articulation great sculpt work but 80 dollars, i think that's not in everybody's wheelhouse so i'm just happy to kind of share my personal opinion with you guys if there's something that you want to get into if there's a line that you kind of want to try out but you haven't gotten an opportunity to i think jaded toys is absolutely perfect just try one of their figures whether it's street fighter whether it's Mega Man, even if you're not a fan of them or whether it's the universal monsters whatever the case may be just try them out see if it's up your alley or at least if it's not just appreciate the amount of effort that went into these figures how good their sculpt work is how good their articulation is you don't always have to love the source material 
to really appreciate the action figure. But I'm gonna stop now. My throat is dry. I've, I'm dehydrated from the amount of saliva that I spit at my mic here. Like I said, I just wanted to give you guys a quick heads up. My personal opinion, my personal take, I think Jada Toys is the OM to beat right now. And it's a shame that they don't have like a ton of action figures being released because maybe a lot of the uh, bigger franchises or a lot of the big property owners are just unwilling to give them an opportunity. Or maybe it's right around the corner. Well, no, we'll, we'll see in the foreseeable future. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? What is the best OM right now and uh, why? Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next one. And as always, make sure to enjoy the hobby. That's the most important part of all this. Play with them, pose them, photograph them, enjoy the heck out of them. Okay. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.